Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Gold Rush Autographed Baseball Helmets. Full size baseball helmets. Random player break number 11. So we sold 26 spots. Everyone gets two players from that big list right there below. It's a pretty strong list. Pretty nice stuff from Gold Rush. So let's double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style. There you go. Doubled up. There are all the players right in there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list five and a four nine times. And ninth and final time. After nine. Ninth and final time. There you go. All right. Dan, down to Ryan on this list right here. So if I did this correctly, there should be 52 on the next list as well. One, 52. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And ninth and final time. After nine, we've got Trevor Hoffman down to Ozzy Smith. Great closer down to the Wizard, who also used to be on the on the Padres. Let me grab Ozzy Smith's name too. All right, there you go. And we also got chopped on on, on in the background, ladies and gentlemen. In case you were wondering. Okay, so Dan, with Trevor, I'm not going to read off all this, but there's all the players right there. I'm going to alphabetize by your first names in just a second, and then uh, you'll get to see who you have. There you go. Let's sort by column A. So Adam Kupperman, there are your players right there. Alan, Anthony, Dan, Harris, Ian, John, Leonard, Luke, Matthew, Michael, Mitch, Nicholas, Halpin, Ryan, Ryan Harold, and Tamara. I'm going to pause the video really quick, and um, we're going to see if there's uh, see if there's any trades. And when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. B R B. All right, welcome back, folks. Um, a little bit of trade chatter, but no deals were done at the end of the day. That's all right. Let's pop. So the case is right here. 2020 Gold Rush full size baseball helmets. Yeah. Alright, so you see one, two, and then three, four boxes down there. All right, so let's let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Who am I? I think we've. If you've been, if you've been uh, watching. If you've been watching our breaks, if you've been watching these breaks, I think we've had this player before. Um, all right, who am I? I'm a retired baseball player from Fullerton, California. Batted left, through left, and played for from the early 90s to 2010. He played for a long time. Four-time All-Star, a World Series champion, eight-time Gold Glover, Silver Slugger Award winner, and part of this team's Hall of Fame. Well, I went to, I didn't know I went to Diamond, I went to Diamond Bar High School. No, McGuire's from Claremont, I think. That's ne next to the town over from where I grew up. At least that's where he played Little League, I think. I don't know where, I don't know where he was born. He went to Damien? Oh, I thought he went to Claremont High. Oh, okay, he went to, went to a private school. In the area where I grew up, um, lifetime 284 average, 393 home runs, 1,199 hits. Played for the this will start to give it away. Played for the Angels, Cardinals, 
and then Padres for half a season, Cubs for the second half of the season, Brewers for half a season, and the Reds for the second half of the season. Known as Jimmy Baseball or Jimmy Ball Game, known for my defensive abilities. Not Rollins, but Edmonds. There you go, Will Christian, Andy got it, Jim Edmonds. There you go, guys. So he's in his Cardinals helmet, although I remember him more of a, more as an angel, I think. But oh, let me. So there you go, Jim Edmonds. I think it says Jim Edmonds inside the box right there too. There it is, Jim Edmonds. It should have the. Yeah, there's the JSA card in there. This is more of a replica helmet, obviously, but. It's got the nice logo right there. Who's got? Who's in the Jim Edmonds spot? That'll be for Adam Kupperman with Jim Edmonds. Um, and Ryan Harold, you have Fred Lynn, Jose Ramirez, Ozzy Smith, and Jordan Alvarez. Next player. All right, who am I? I am a Hall of Fame baseball player. Voted in with, uh, I'm a third ballot. Got in, got, in, got in on my third ballot. Played for one team my entire career. A 12-time All-Star, a World Series champ, an NL MVP, three-time Gold Glove Award winner. Andre Dawson did not win a World Series. I don't think he did. Uh, Three-time Gold Glover, nine-time Silver Slugger Award, a Roberto Clemente Award winner, lifetime 295 average, 2,340 hits, 198 home runs, 960 RBIs, 379 stolen bases, born in Cincinnati, and that's the team I played for as well, the Cincinnati Reds. Retired shortstop. You got it. I don't know if you heard. No, not Edgar. Yep, there you go. Will Christian, D. Porter. Yeah, Barry Larkin. Andy, Teddy, etc. I didn't realize he was born in Cincinnati. There you go. Went to high school in Cincinnati. And then, uh, did he go to college? I think he did. Yeah, he accepted a football scholarship to Michigan, but then played baseball instead. Led the Wolverines to two births and two College World Series. Is this? And then looks like got drafted. Yeah, got drafted by the Reds. So he, he's Mr. Cincinnati. He's got a nice autograph right here. There's the, the JSA right there. The JSA sticker on the back right there. Barry Larkin, Michael Huck with the Barry Larkin. There you go, Michael. Yeah, he's got a nice, good penmanship here, too. What's Barry Larkin doing these days? We're, we're, let's go to personal life in the, on his Wikipedia page. My brother, Stephen Larkin, also a pro ball player. Byron Larkin, All-American basketball player at Xavier, and is a color commentator on Xavier's basketball radio broadcast. Larkin's eldest brother, Mike, captain of, Uni of Notre Dame's football team in 85. Wow. 
very athletic family. Larkin and his wife, Lisa, have two daughters, Brielle, Simber, Shane, as well. They live in Orlando. Apparently, Shane played at the University of Miami for declaring himself eligible in 2013 draft, traded to the Mavs, made his NBA debut, blah, blah, blah. Larkin's daughters play lacrosse. There you go. All right, Teddy, did it? Did it? Did a cat walk over your keyboard? All right, there you go, Michael. Andy said he was signing for free before the lockout. Yeah, I didn't realize his son played for Miami, DJ. Two more to go. All right, who's on this side? Okay. Player. I'm a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer with 82.88% of the vote. Right-handed pitcher from Warren, Michigan. I was born in Warren, Ohio. This guy was born in Warren, Michigan. Right-handed pitcher with a 213 to 155 win-loss record, a lifetime 333 ERA, a little over 3,000 strikeouts, and... 154 saves. Not too many guys with 3,000 strike, over 3,000 strikeouts, and 154 saves. Played for three teams my entire career. Eight-time All-Star, World Series champ. Yeah, Alex Donnelly's got it right away. NL Cy Young Award winner, NLCS MVP, a Silver Slugger, NL Rollades Relief Man of the Year, Roberto Clemente Award winner, two-time NL Wins leader, two-time NL Strikeouts leader, and NL Saves leader. Braves retired my number 29 and in the Braves Hall of Fame, first ballot Hall of Famer. I did not know that his nickname, Smoltzy is obviously his classic nickname. I didn't know that Marmaduke is one of his nicknames. Why? What, any Braves fans with a story for me on that? Marmaduke. You bragging rights, Alex Donnelly. Bragging rights. You can tell your friends later tonight, guess what I did. I guess the right helmet at Jaspies. What did you guys do today? Nothing. All right, I like that classic, that old two-tone, two-tone helmet right here too. All right, John Smoltz goes to Mitch Black. Nice, Mitch. You thought you'd won the helmet? Yeah. You wish. Imagine if I was just giving away free helmets just for you guessing it. I would have made the clues a lot harder. All right, looks like there's another. Let's put down here. Oh, just a little bit of. Just a little bit of protective. I don't know what this is. Just some extra stuff in there. All right, so let's get Mitch Black's name on here. All right, and, and the final helmet. This one feels a little bit heavier. Oh, 
Whoa! We got an MLB replica helmet with helmet stand, modeled after the authentic on-field batting helmet worn by every Major League Baseball player. Wow. This is a pretty good looking helmet right here. All right. There's a clue on the color of the team. All right. Who am I? All right. I am an outfielder, a right-handed outfielder with a lifetime 273. Uh, batting average, 246 runs batted in, 110 career home runs, a two-time All-Star, a Rookie of the Year Award winner, Silver Slugger Award winner, and a uh, a Wilson Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. Did I win the Defensive Player of the Award winner? And an AL Home Run Leader. This should be pretty easy. Yeah, Aaron, jo yeah, the barcode for you sharp eyes out there. This is pretty sweet. Look at that. Does it slide out? So you got the helmet stand right here, and you got the helmet itself right there. Nice Aaron Judge. Uh, yeah, I guess he won the Wilson Defensive Player of the Year Award in 2019. So you've got some sponge there, the Rawlings logo. Warning, this helmet has no protective capabilities. Intended for use as a replica helmet and is only to be used for display purposes, ladies and gentlemen. So there you go. Pretty sweet. Who's got the Aaron Judge? Leonard N. with the Aaron Judge. There you go, Leonard. That's pretty awesome. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I think we have some more of these helmets, so keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com for more. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.